This is the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. You can see it's warm, 74 degrees. It'll cool off a little later tonight, but still ideal conditions for both the Miners and the Cougars. The quarterback, the freshman, the true freshman, Drew Miller, who had the, the splendid game against TCU, three second-half touchdowns. A play where he went in and BYU had the ball on their own one-yard line and was sacked for a safety against Rice earlier in the year. So uh, this should seem like no big deal compared to that situation. Brian McKenzie is the tailback. The deep back in the eye formation. Play fake by Miller. And they'll set up the screen to Dustin Johnson. That's a good first down call and a big gain for Dustin Johnson, who's down the sideline. And run out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Another completion to margin hooks inside the 20, and that's another BYU first down. There you go. Second down and nine. Johnson with a good block for McKenzie, and he turns the corner down to the 12. This one a 21-yard attempt, and the Cougars strike first. It's for Carpenter in this first quarter drive. And Polk is tied up in knots by Rob Morris. Middle line to try that field goal before we hear from Charlie Bailey. And it's no good, so BYU will hold to the shotgun. Jason Smith. The Probably should have just thrown the ball away. Finley has missed two of them. Medical player. He'll throw his weight around. Third and 20 for Miller. Buying time with a flag down. Incomplete and nearly intercepted on a ball intended for his knee. It's tough being a quarterback. Perez with the sneak. Touchdown, Miners. Aaron Roderick outside the 35-yard line. Third and six after the Cougar timeout. Trying to set up the screen, and that's up for grabs. And nearly intercepted in this first half. Second down and 15 for Rocky Perez. Rolling out, Rob Morris all but beheaded him. Ball came free. And that Perez takes from a full head of steam right to the head, and that, that ball is out. And that ball is out. The right to come up, he doesn't have any coverage any longer now that the quarterback's broken containment, and the official calls the ball down. Morris would like to see it be BYU's ball. What a hit. Well, Rob Morris, a very physical player, and he presented quite a shot. On the quarterback, Rocky Perez. Just in half, 7-3 for the Miners. For a hooks, no good. Cotchery with good coverage. Third and 15. And on third and 15, they'll stay conservative with... And he's ridden out of bounds. Three-step drop. This one's caught outside the 40-yard line by... Helps set up a touchdown. And the draw, Elsie Johnson is stymied. Mangale was dabbed in the road. He needed to make the catch. From the minor 46-yard line. Short gain. BYU throwing to Dustin Johnson. Very solid citizens in the deep secondary. That one's coughed up. Aaron Cup caught it and fumbled it. And UTEP has. But Michael Hicks reads it all the way. Drew throws the ball out late. Drew Miller. Watch as he turns. Boom, there's the hit. I think that was a good call. I think he had it. He turned to go upfield with it. Perez. Look at him. He said he likes to play BYU because they play football like that. Perez. And he goes down. And the Cougars raising field goals. 0 for 2 so far in this game for UTEP. This one's thrown and 
Was it deflected and intercepted? No. With the Cowboys, you should come out and support the Miners. Cougars will be content to run out the clock, regroup, and see what they can do in the second half. They will stay on the ground. BYU is waiting that time for LZ Johnson. Second down, still 10. Dustin Johnson in the flat. And he's rocked. Zach Worth. Wide open receiver is Natkin, the tight end. Brian Natkin. Touchdown, Utah. And that play's going to come back, Randy, because there was a mo Legal motion, offense, five yard penalty, complete third down. Yeah. And Perez scrambling, can only get out to the 25 yard line. Head getting set on the right side, number 84. Miller throwing on first down, trying to set up the screen. Kenzie doesn't go very far, all directions against Drew Miller tonight. And they're coming again. This one's intercepted. Henderson bringing it back. Touchdown, UTEP. Go to the football, take a look. Big time pressure, and it's Worth who makes the hit. The ball up in the air would have been an incomplete pass, but Brent Henderson is there for the gift. And he takes it all the way back for six points for the Miners. They've had a touchdown wiped out of this third quarter. Finally, the Cougars throw to Cahoon. Deep ball for margin hooks. He's out there. Hooks makes the grab inside the 30. He'll spot him down at the 29. Blitzing. He's got margin hooks on the outside. He makes an audible call. They're going to blitz again. And hooks has press coverage right up tight on the outside. He calls the streak route. Hooks goes out and gets the reception. And, and uh, BYU makes Kacha repay for playing that bump coverage. He has no help deep. And that's what you have to do against a blitz to make him honest. Now, help. Miller flushed out of the pocket. Tipped and intercepted. Curry with the pick. And UTEP is held. Rick, and it's hard to throw the ball back inside at this level. The defensive backs and the linebackers are able to react quickly. Going to go try to go back inside, running out to his right. Watch how quickly the reaction is. Centers need seven on second down. And LZ Johnson has stood up. Mangale really broke down the offensive front. Also there, Darren Yancey. But that's going to conclude the third quarter, and it was a good one for the Miners. Well, BYU is going to need a dramatic rally in the final quarter. BYU controls its own destiny in the Wack Mountain Division. But right now, their destiny is iffy. This is the Blue and White Sports Network.